how you how you get to have career success and a romantic love life so this topic is inspired because so many ladies think i can either have career success or romance okay and it's so not true but it's true that you oftentimes need different tools and embodiment for career than in your romantic life, okay? But oftentimes what happens, let me know if you resonate, let me know in the comments if you resonate, that ladies who are super successful in their career, when you are dating then, like, let me know if this resonates, but when you date and you're like super successful, it oftentimes happen that you might attract men who are either like having a mental conversation with peers like friends that just no romance or you attract guys who are little boys who just need you who need your money who need your career advice who need your support who need you to pick them up and it's just annoying I mean, I don't know about you, but for me, it's annoying. <laughs> I don't know a better word for that. I'm sorry. But if you want to attract um, a provider, a masculine man, where you also feel romance, where you also feel, where you also feel like he's stepping up and he has the, you know, he's attractive and you feel attractive, it needs a complete different skill set. And one of those skills is the embodiment, like the connection to your emotions and body, because that creates an emotional intim um, emotional connection with a man that keeps him around, literally. But also the other part is the physical attraction. And I wasn't talking much about that because I just wanted all of the ladies to focus on the emotional attraction because, you know, Emotional attraction is most important, but the physical one is too. And it is needed for you know the romance to happen. And so many times you might be hiding because you might think, but I want him to respect me for my brains. I want him to see me that I'm smart. I want him to see that I'm successful. And I get it. And he gets to see it too. And yet if you if you lead with that, um you know, it will be more like a friendship type of thing or you will attract feminine men. If you don't want that, you will have to drop into your body, connect to your emotions and cultivating the physical attraction. And I'm not talking about like wearing anything revealing or, or acting like any kind of way that we see in media shows tv shows or even movies or instagram no i'm not talking about like acting out like any any kind of way of revealing in a sexual way no this is not what i'm talking about if you guys know my teaching coaching style of dating i'm pretty um you know i'm pretty much um old school or like let's put that that's not even old school because i don't value old school i value um, finding someone with a good match. So I think if you are circular dating, you should be waiting with kissing and intimacy just to see if the guy is a good match to you, if you have the same value and compatibility, okay? So that's why I don't think it's a good idea to show up very much revealing. But what is important is that you feel internally attractive, that you feel internally like yes of course all the guys would stop to talk to me and i had a client um she told me once she said like after she did my magnetic uh, master class actually um her ex would just like want to see her all the time but of course it's not good because of the ex like a guy would just stop in the middle of the road and would come out to talk to her she is in her late uh, 40s like i think she's 48 yeah, this is the energy. And this happens to me every single day. It happens to me so often. It's just a normal way of living right now that I forgot that I was the invisible girl that no man wanted to talk to. I would just get friend zoned. Men didn't want to talk to me, didn't want to 
moments me and I would just attract feminine boys that I had to provide for. Anyways, if you would like to start feeling inside, so from inside out, so attractive, no matter where you're from, no matter how old you are, no matter um, of your size, like how many pounds you have, this is an energetic thing. And if you would like to step into feeling so attractive, you must join my next masterclass. I'm sexy and I know it. It's going to be next week, three days of embodiment practices where I will teach you how to step into this energy of like, yeah, I'm so attractive, I'm so sexy, and I also know it. Like, this is just, just the perfect name. I had to take this name. <laughs> okay, so um, for you, my dear, if you feel like, oh, I can either have, I'm just going to focus on my career because it's working and the guys are like, mm, you have to have it all. Like, you get to have it all. Just learn the right tools, and one of them is the embodiment of feeling attractive. And the way I teach you is not going to make you be revealing. You're actually going to have a lot of boundaries, a lot of self-protection, but it's a feeling inside. It's this feeling of, yes. Like, imagine you even walk down the street, and you would see a mirror, and you just like, look at yourself, think, yeah, I'm so beautiful, I'm so attractive. And... I know for some of you, it might be like miles away. And I get it. I was there too. I was the lady that was invisible. I could not take even... I think I have one picture from back then that I shared on Instagram. One picture. Because I could not take a picture of me because I felt ugly. I felt like I hated myself and my body. And I attracted men who told me I'm ugly. Although I wasn't. But I just wanted to hide and it's so sad, but that was my reality. And I did this transformation years ago. So, you know, right now it's it's normal for me to be in my attractive energy and feeling attractive. But I know for some of you, you might be not there yet. So, especially for dating, it is important that you start feeling attractive. But even if you don't want to date, if you already are married, you have a husband just to start really having a great relationship with your own body and loving it, you get to join my masterclass. So the link is in the description box or in the comments or you can um, reach out to me directly for the link. Yeah, so you send me an email or a, send me a DM to join it. Mm -hmm. And another really important announcement is that this month I have a few spots for one-on-one -on -one coaching, all right? So if you have been desiring to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, this is your chance. In the last few months, I didn't really have the space for it, but now I do. And now I also have a special entry-level offer for you. So make sure to reach out if you, wanting, if you want to work with me, okay? And um, yeah, so... I'm here for you to support you in whatever uh, area you need the support. All right. So don't be afraid to reach out in, in whatever way. And um, thank you so much for joining me, joining me in this live stream.